If you love physical media, like me, chances are you have a physical media collection. And if you're like me, that media collection is probably into the hundreds or maybe even thousands of items. So one big question that always comes up with a physical media collection like that is how do you keep track of what you have? And to be honest, there's no worse feeling to me than going to a store, like a thrift store, finding a DVD or a Blu-ray that I want and not knowing whether or not it's in my collection. And then I go and buy it, bring it home, and then realize I already have it here, and then have to resell one of those items. And chances are I'm gonna lose money on the resale of that item. Well, here today in this video, I'm gonna show you one app that I highly recommend that you download and use to help catalog and keep track of all your physical media. So if you wanna know what app that is, stay tuned. Okay, so real quick, before we jump into the actual screen capped footage that I'm gonna throw in here to actually show you how I'm using the app and, and some things like that, let me tell you what app it is and how I came to find this app. So the app we're gonna use today is the Blu-ray.com app. And this is cross-platform, you can get it on both Android and iOS. So just a little bit about how I found this Blu-ray.com app and why I'm doing this video here today. Basically, I used a different app on my iPhone for a couple of years, and it was the iCollector app. That app initially was free to use, which I think they may still have a free version, but it caps you at like 20 items. But Previously, you could go and pay, I believe it was like $5 to get a full lifetime pass to use the app with unlimited entries. And so I actually used that app in the pro version for that $5 fee for a number of years and it actually worked really well. And I could catalog DVDs, Blu-rays, 4Ks, it would even catalog HD DVDs, it even catalog VHS tapes. You could also link in other external iCollector apps into it so you could uh, catalog you know music like vinyl records cds cassette tapes you could do comic books and trading cards and just all kinds of different things and that app was really nice and i really enjoyed using it the problem was this past year give or take they changed their pricing plan to where the lifetime five dollar pro subscription pass that i paid was no longer valid and you would have to pay a $50 a year or a monthly fee to use their pro service. And that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Um, I could still use the unlimited entries, but a lot of the features started to be clipped and more limited after they changed their pricing structure. And so that one time $5 fee that I paid really wasn't cutting it for me. And I couldn't really recommend that app to everyone out there on YouTube because initially I was going to make a video on, on just that app itself and say, hey, it's worth the $5. But now that they're wanting $50 a year to use that app, it's really not worth it. I started searching through the iOS store and then looking on the Android store as well to kind of see what other apps were out there. And that's how I stumbled across the Blu-ray.com app. And more or less, this app is free. All you really have to do is go to blu-ray.com and sign up and create a profile on there. You'll then have to verify your email address for it to be activated. But once it's active, you can then use this app and seemingly there is no limit to the size of the catalog you can actually make and size of the library of items you can actually make on here. And because this app is linked with blu-ray.com, it supports a whole bunch of other features that the iCollector app didn't use. And so I'm gonna detail some of that stuff and go into how I use the app here in just a second as I show you some screen capped footage of me using it on my Samsung phone that I use to make my YouTube videos. So without any further waiting around, let's get into that screen capped footage. And what you do, of course, is you click on your app and log in. Your home screen will look a little different depending how you set it up initially. But one of the main features I do like about this app, especially if you're someone who enjoys finding good deals, you can click on the Deals tab 
and scroll down and see different deals for Amazon. So this shows actual disk-based media uh, for different sales that they have going on. You can filter through the best deals, the newest deals, and you can also click through for the lowest price deal, which will give you the lowest price on different uh, items that they have available. This will also let you filter over through iTunes, through Google, through Microsoft, and these will give you actual digital movies. So you're not going to see actual disk-based media on these three tabs, but these are actual digital copies. So after that, you can also click on news and see different news stories in relation to different movies on there. You can also click the release calendar, and this will show you when physical media releases will actually be released in each country, and you can filter by the U.S. or other countries, depending where you live, and scroll through to different months. You can also click on theatrical releases, so this will show you when new releases will be out in the movie theater, and this will also show you for various countries, so not just the U.S. But what I am more interested in in the video I'm doing here today is in the collection section of the Blu-ray.com app. Now, you will have to go in and create a profile initially on Blu-ray.com to access all the features of the app. But once you do that, you are able to start a collection and really keep track of all your physical media that you have at home. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you just some of the different uh, movies and things and how I would go about putting these in here. And you can filter by all kinds of different filters. So genre, audio type, media type, aspect ratio, just all kinds of things. The movies that you're seeing on here are just a couple random ones that I got recently that I scanned in to the app, which I'm going to actually show you here in a minute how to scan it in. But when you pull it up, like this is Dawn of the Dead, it will show you the sale price on Amazon, it'll show you ratings, it'll show you what kind of movie it is, the release date, synopsis, all kinds of different stuff. It's actually a really good uh, little feature to see all that. What I'm going to show you now, though, is how to actually scan in some movies to add to your collection. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually go up and click the little barcode icon that's up towards the top of the screen. And then when you do that, that will give you access to your camera. This is my Bruce Campbell vs. Army of Darkness director's cut that I recently bought. You scan the barcode and it'll bring up the actual movie right there. So what you will do is you will click add to collection and you can click the date and time that you want to add it in and it'll show when you actually scanned it into your collection and then you can select whether or not you've watched it, how many times you've watched it, left any comments, you can leave the retailer you bought it at, you can also put in the price that you paid for it and you know that way you can track how much money you actually spent and uh, it's a really neat feature and you can do this with a wide range of Blu-rays, DVDs, 4Ks, uh, I believe you can add video games and different things in here as well if you really wanted to but uh, yeah so it's a, a really nice feature. I will say this app does have some issues if you're trying to add in VHS tapes or HD DVDs or some of these other formats because it really only follows the blu-ray.com database so you will not always see some of these older formats and some of the DVDs and Blu-rays that are a little more obscure. So you will see some issues pop up with that. So you'll be able to add any sort of mainstream release into your collection. Uh, here you can also see, here's Paranorman. This is just the regular Blu-ray release. This was a release I picked up recently uh, at a thrift store for a dollar. So it's just very easy. You scan it and you click add to your collection. You can add in all those other details but it'll be in there. I will say that some of the other apps I've played around with in the past 
will be a little more intuitive in terms of scanning and adding them in. It will allow you to do things a little bit easier uh, than this. Now you can also search by the title of the movie you want to add into your collection if the barcode doesn't work. For example, what I'm doing right now is I'm searching for the Criterion 4K edition of Double Indemnity, uh, which is a movie I actually got in a Blu-ray 4K combo lot off of Shop Goodwill uh, several months ago. And this one does not come up when you scan the barcode for some reason. So you have to type it in manually. And so when you type it in, you can search by the name. It'll give you all the different options. And then you just have to find which version you want. And then same thing, you can search it, pull it up. It'll give you all the info that's on there. And then you just click Add to the Collection. You can add in all your comments and things you want. And there it is in your collection. As I said, uh, some of these, it is a bit of a problem to search if they're a little bit more obscure. Uh, like here, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? This is the Vista Special Edition. Uh, it does take a little bit to try and find this one. <laughs> so you have to kind of go through and kind of look to see which one is the correct version on there. So you have to make sure you scroll down, click DVD, and then boom, there you go. There's the Vista series of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. This was another DVD that I found at the thrift store relatively recently. So you do have to make sure you change the search parameters correctly to find what you want. And like I said, you can add 4Ks, Blu-rays, DVDs, digital copies. You can add video games. Uh, there's plenty of different options, you know, and, and different things you can scan in here. So with that, that's going to wrap up this little portion of the video. And then I'm going to cut back to myself here in the home theater to finish everything up. So there you go. There is my little rundown of the Blu-ray.com app. And like I said, it's free to use. It's cross-platform. You can use it on both iOS and Android. All you really have to do is just create a profile on Blu-ray.com and verify your email address, and then you're good to go to use the app. And I really do enjoy this app. I've used a different app in the past. Uh, like I said, I used iCollector, which is still on my iPhone. It's not a terrible app. The problem is they change things up to where now they want a monthly or a yearly subscription to use it where before it was free to use or you could pay like a flat fee of like five dollars for access on it and so that really pushed me to try and find a different app and that's where the blu-ray.com app comes in and with that we're going to close this video like I always say, I appreciate everyone who's watched my content. Definitely consider liking and subscribing and hitting that little bell notification icon so you can get notified when I post more content. It really does help me out. It helps me grow the channel and, you know, show that there is support out there for what I do. And with that, we're going to say goodbye, and I will see you here the next time in the next video on Secondhand Home Theater.